Happy Friday, folks. Welcome to another content of Kane's Baseball and Football Report with your one and only Miguel Mike Medina. Week five. Can you believe that we're entering week five already of college football? Well, we will have ourselves the first ACC matchup, Virginia Tech versus the Miami Hurricanes. They will be playing tonight at 7.30 p.m. tonight. Oh, man. And it's on ESPN on top of that. So that's something to look out for for Miami Hurricane fans like myself and others. Miami are 16 and a half point favorites in this game. Miami has won three straight meetings and leads the all time series 25 to 15. Miami currently ranks second in the country in total offense with 605 total yards per game. And they rank 10th in total defense with 232.8 and 12th in the country in defensive scoring. So the Canes are doing it all offensively and defensively, like I've always said. Cam Ward has completed 72 of his passes. He has thrown for 1,439 pass yards, 14 touchdowns and two interceptions. Clearly he's an early candidate for the Heisman Trophy. Now, the Miami Hurricanes are looking to go 5-0 for the first time in their school program history, and they have a chance to do it right when September is coming to an end, something that has never been done before. So, And they have a great chance of doing it. Clearly, they're the way better team, the superior team, compared to Virginia Tech. One of the things that I want to see Miami do in this game is that I want them to continue to explore the running game and it all starts with Damian Martinez however you know we can't be um too greedy I should say or we can't stress that enough because we do have Cam Ward who you know is just performing his his tail off but still I would like to see the Miami Hurricanes um be more effective at the running back position and make a bigger impact. Now for the Southern Virginia Tech, they have a quarterback, Chiron Drones. <clears throat> he has thrown for 765 yards. He has thrown two touchdowns, three, yeah, four touchdowns and three interceptions, including rushing for 209 yards and two touchdowns. One of the matchups that we got to look is Cam Ward going up against Virginia Tech's secondary. Now, Virginia Tech's defense is not an elite, but at the same time, you can't sleep on them. Just like you can't sleep on any team on any given weekend, any given Saturday. But because it's Friday, I'll say don't underestimate no given team even on a Friday night. So Cam Ward versus the Virginia Tech Hokies secondary is something we got to look out for. We also got to look out for arguably their best defense, the best defensive player on the team, Sam Brunfield. Sam Brunfield is a key defensive player for the Hokies and he has made a huge impact for them this season. He has 23 tackles. He brings experience and leadership to that team. And this is a man that transferred from, that he transferred to Virginia Tech from Middle Tennessee. And there's a reason why he's the team captain on defense. There's a reason for that. And so he is someone that Miami um, definitely got to keep an eye on. Their offensive lineman, Cam Ward, they got to pay attention to that. Another um, player to watch out for Virginia Tech is running back Brayshaw Tudin. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He already has three consecutive games with at least 100 rushing yards. So that's a player to look out for. They have a head coach, Brent Pry. He's in his third season as the Virginia Tech head coach. He has history in this game. Throughout his 33-year career, he has coached in 15 bowl games, and he has coached in top 10 
defensive teams at Virginia Tech, Penn State, Vanderbilt, Georgia, Southern and Western California. They have a wide receiver named Ali Jennings, which I believe he's a talented wide receiver and he could be used as a major weapon um, on the Hokies off offense against the Miami Hurricanes. So, one of the, however, one of the problems that Jenny has is that he tends to get hurt a lot and we don't know if he will perform tonight against the Hurricanes. But regardless, he is someone that you got to keep an eye on. He was a transfer from Old Dominion two years ago. So, but he's a good player. He's a good player. And he is someone, like I said, that Virginia Tech could use in this game if he decides to play and if he's ready to go. So Miami's defense, they got to pay attention to him. And yeah, that pretty much does it for this preview of Virginia Tech versus Miami Hurricanes. Listen, as long as Miami Hurricanes continue to do what they're doing, they're going to be fine. So they have themselves their first ACC matchup of the season, and hopefully they can do something that's never been done before, and that's to go 5-0 and before entering the month of October. Thank you for watching Kings Baseball and Football Report. Please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to go to my online store, mikesproduct.shop. Happy Friday, folks. Be safe. And may God bless each and every one of you.